Hey guys, welcome back to another video here with me, Rich on Rich Aesthetic. This is an aesthetic apps episode covering my favorite Safari extensions. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. All right, so I've picked out quite a few different apps here, um, all covering different aspects of the Safari browser. So let's start with our favorite iOS 13 feature, dark mode. So with the introduction of dark mode on iOS, pretty much all um, updated or well updated apps started introducing dark mode. But websites have for whatever reason taken a slower roll with this. And unfortunately, a lot of websites that do implement dark mode require you to hit a button? No, just no. So. I recommend this app called Noir or Noir. It literally has its own dark mode built in and it's also got some smart features allowing you to ignore the website's own dark mode saying, let's say you don't like it, for example. So you can just have a consistent dark mode on all websites. The developer is super active. It's got a version for iOS, iPadOS, and also the Mac OS. Unfortunately, it's not a universal purchase. So you have to purchase the Mac one separately from the iOS and iPadOS ones. Um, but fine, in the end, it just kind of, I think total is $6. I think it's three on both platforms but definitely worth it. I use it all the time. And whenever there's a website that doesn't really work with it, you can just through the extension report it. And the developer is pretty good about updating. I don't know, I think like bi-weekly or so to get your site supported. So yeah, definitely go ahead and check that one out. All the links to these apps, by the way, will be in the description. All right, so the next one, uh, YouTube. I've been using YouTube on the in Safari lately because I want to have picture in picture mode and this really cool app called Vinegar allows you to replace YouTube's own HTML5 video player with Apple's own native video player. That allows you to quickly jump into PIP by just tapping on that symbol there and um, you can also go into full screen mode by tapping on that and then you can have the fast forward and rewind buttons. If you use like Apple TV Plus or other apps using the native video player, it'll feel super familiar to you. So that's a real cool one. Um, then this is one that I don't use myself, but the reviews seem to be pretty good and it's app store page looks pretty great, but it's called clear read and it just replaces the text font of any website with the open dyslexic font allowing, I guess, people with dys dyslexia to more easily read and navigate websites. So that's pretty cool. thought that would, uh, that deserved a little shout out. I missed 99 cents in the app store and I would check that out, especially if you have difficulties uh, with reading. So we all love Reddit. I'm assuming you guys like Reddit. You're here watching a tech video. The thing is Reddit has a shitty website <laughs> and a very, very bad iOS app. The nice thing is the awesome, awesome Reddit client called Apollo, which you probably know or knew about before I, has added an extension that just opens Reddit links in Apollo. Now it's direct, but not really. It's kind of like when you tap on the link, it'll quickly open up the web page, but then quickly jump you out of Safari and into Apollo's own app. So I, I've been using that. Um, you can't go wrong. If you're a Reddit user and you haven't checked out Apollo, check that out and then turn on this extension because Apollo is just so good. Like it loads things instantly. It doesn't, it's not a memory hog like the website is. So yeah, go check that out. Then the next one, um, if you use Spotify or you use Apple Music, you get a friend who uses Tidal, then you want to use Pandora, whatever it is, Convusic is here to the rescue. So whenever you're getting songs shared to you from different services, when you tap on the link, it'll open it directly in the music player of your own choice. So I have mine set to Apple Music. If my friend was using this, he could have it set to Spotify. Uh, another friend could have it set to Tidal and so on. And it'll do the conversion for you so you don't have to try to find the song or search it yourself manually. So that's pretty tight. Another one that's kind of cool, if you always feel like you're getting just shit spam website search results in when you're searching Google, this word called, <laughs> not this word, this app called Ban, which has got this sweet app icon and this hammer here, uh, that'll just get rid of all the spam websites. So that's pretty cool. And whenever you still find 
websites that are spam, just like Noir. You can report the website to the, to the developer and he'll get to that taken care of and add it to the list of banned websites. Then my last one here, which if you're a Mac user and you use Alfred, this is kind of a similar feature that Alfred has where you can have like a hotkey and then different workflows to automatically search specific websites. This app is called X Search and it has a plethora of different websites added where you can automatically search the website just by using Safari's own address bar. So you know how if your default search engine is Google or Ecosia or something like that, when you search for something, it'll directly search in that default search engine. Yeah, well now you can add these different uh, websites. It doesn't even have to be a search engine. You can see from my list here, I've got Apple and Amazon and whatnot added. And the hotkey for Apple is like A. So if I type A space and then like iPhone 13, it'll automatically search Apple's websites for the iPhone 13, as you can see here. You don't have to search Google and then jump into the website. Um, of course, I've also got different search engines added into X search. Just to keep it easy, because I live here in China, sometimes if my VPN's not on, I can just really quickly type B space and then my search term and that'll search Bing for me. All right, so yeah, that's the list of the different Safari extensions that I've been using. I don't know if you guys have found any cooler ones. I keep browsing the list and there's always some great ones added. Uh, a shout out goes to Acorns extension, which just puts the found money from their app into, uh, into Safari. So when you're on a website that does offer a deal for Acorns, um, it'll just have a little pop up. So that, that is kind of cool and I think it's a handy feature to have. But yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below with any of the Safari ask extensions that you use. And then if you use any of these, let me know which ones you use and why you like them. And yeah, I think we're at over 90 subscribers at this point. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and tap that subscribe button, smash the like button, and as always, catch me in the next video. Rich Aesthetic, out. Shout